Good morning. It's Saturday. Uh, you've got me today. So I hope that um, you're all well and staying safe. And um, I just wanted to share with you what's been on my mind this week. I have, um, as you quite a lot of you know, I like to run. So, um, and I have Christian music playing when I run. And the thing that has, has really um, spoken to me this week is all the songs about grace. Uh, amazing Grace, I don't know whether you saw last week on the television, the beautiful rendition. Um, and it just makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Um, it's just one of those songs, we all have songs that, that do that for us. I have several. One is um, You'll Never Walk Alone, but it has to be a Scouse accent, I'm afraid. So, very nice to hear um, the lovely rendition um, uh, to... So, Tom Moore, but I'm afraid it has to be a scarce accent for me. It really does. And uh, Amazing Grace um, by Botticelli was beautiful. Um, and the other one for me is um, Either Lord of Sea and Sky um, is another one that makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. But Amazing Grace is the one that it has been speaking to me this week. And um, Your Grace is Enough is another one that has come up quite a lot on my playlist um, as, as I've been running around the estate. Um, and I've got it on shuffle, so obviously God needed me to just take on board um, the grace that is on offer to all of us. And uh, I came across this passage, it's in the message version, and it's 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 and 10. Because of the extravagance of these revelations, and so I wouldn't get a big head. I was given the gift of a handicap to keep me in constant touch with my limitations. Satan's angels did their best to get me down. What he did, in fact, did push me to my knees. No danger then of walking around high and mighty. At first, I didn't think of it as a gift and I begged God to remove it. Three times I did that, and then the Lord told me, My grace is enough. It is all you need. My strength comes into its own in your weakness. Once I had heard that, I was glad to let it happen. I quit focusing on the handicap and began appreciating the gift. It was the case of Christ's strength moving in on my weakness now I take limitations in stride and with good cheer. These limitations that cut me down to size, abuse, accidents, opposition, bad breaks, I just let Christ take over. And so the weaker I get, the stronger I become. And I think that really speaks in the situation we find ourselves in, which is another three weeks of lockdown. Um, yeah, so we've probably all rushed around and cleared those cupboards out and, you know, done all those jobs that we've been meaning to do. Personally, I've done quite a lot of decorating and I've also done quite a lot of my knitting and I haven't quite finished that project yet. Um, and I've got several knitting projects lined up that I'd quite like to do and some cross stitch I'd quite like to do. Um, I've also got lots of cupboards that still need sorting. But actually... There is a bigger gift in there, God's grace. Um, one of the things that I have I've done this week is, uh, because the weather has been beautiful, is I've been out in the garden. And normally for me, I mean I love my garden, don't get me wrong, but it, for me it is a real chore. Um, it's just something else to fit into my busy schedule. So when the summer comes it's like, oh, the grass needs cotton and I need to do the weeding and do the planting and make sure things are deadheaded, etc. It's not, if I'm honest, being a pleasure. There's a few things in the garden that give me great pleasure. I have a beautiful hibiscus, which I could sit and look at for ages, particularly when it's in full bloom. And I, 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 I have watched this grow from a little plant that we put in when we moved in nearly 15 years ago. Um, and it is now this beautiful, beautiful thing to behold. And it has been a real pleasure to watch that. 
But this week I've been out and I've been doing that, you know, cutting the grass because, you know, it's now the start of doing that. And I've actually tidied up some of the beds. One bed that I never, ever get around to tidying up. I've, I've been out there and done that. Um, I've even tidied behind the shed, which was a complete mess of thorns and um, brambles and, and things which, you know, normally I attack it and get scratched to smithereens and it's really a hateful job. But this time, the weather was beautiful and I decided oh, I've got the time today, I can take my time, I could try a different approach. So I did. Instead of pulling great long lengths of it out, I kept it short and I just cut little short bits, a little bit at a time and put them into um, the, the container I was putting all the rubbish in. I didn't get scratched half as much and actually it was so lovely to be out there and to enjoy what God had given us. The beautiful bird song, the beautiful weather. It was just delightful. So maybe I needed to, to learn that lesson. That actually God gives us things all the time and we just don't take any notice of them because we're so busy. We're so busy rushing around doing what we think we need to do. And maybe what we need to do is what the passage said, which is to get on our knees. Get on our knees before the Lord. We might be struggling with being stuck inside or stuck inside with our family or whatever it is. We might see that as a handicap. We might be doing what the Bible passage said and asking God to take this away from us. Maybe we're approaching it from the wrong angle. Maybe we need to approach it from our knees. God's grace is enough in any situation. But we need to be prepared to listen to him, to take it to him. He is much better at sorting any problems out than we are. But we just need to put those problems in, in his care. As many of you know that um, we quite often face trials and tribulations with um, getting the right provision for Daniel and with getting the right sort of funding for him. And it is a time when I always, always end up on my knees because it feels so out of my control. It feels so beyond me. And yet God always comes up trumps for Daniel. And I just am blown away by how much he does in that day. But if he can do that for Daniel, he can do it for all of us. We just need to recognise it. We just need to get on our knees. We just need to come before our Lord and Saviour and acknowledge that as we grow weaker, we grow stronger in him because his grace is more than enough. So we need to praise him for his grace in all the situations that each and every one of us are facing at the moment and it will be different for all of us. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you that your grace is amazing and more than enough for all that we need. Thank you for the music that got me thinking about your grace and, and wondering and being able to try and get near to the place where I could just get closer to that grace and, and acknowledge it. Thank you, Lord, that for each and every one of us, your grace is enough in the situations that we face. And that as we grow weaker, you enable us to grow stronger through your grace. Praise you for that, Lord. Praise you for the beautiful weather that there has been this weekend. Praise you, Lord, that the hospital admissions are coming down. And Lord, we bring before you the whole PPE situation because that is a weakness. And in that weakness, only you can show the strength by finding a solution. I lift before you the young girl from Didcot who's gone missing, Lord, and 
just pray that you would be in that situation, that you would be giving peace to her parents, insight to the police, that they may be able to find her safe and sound and bring her back. Lord, I just thank you that you are a God that just provides to so many people, but people don't always recognise it. So I thank you for the work of those people that are providing food for the food bank and are enabling things like Sophia um, to provide for those in need. Lord, I praise you that there is a way through this and that when we come out the other end that there would be lessons that are learnt and acknowledged and acted upon. Just thank you for the amazing response to Captain Tom Moore's um, wonderful, wonderful um, walking up and down his garden at his age, Lord. And just thank you for his um, commitment to do it. And thank you for the response that there has been, Lord. And I just pray that you would enable that money to be used um, in the right way, Lord, for the right people. And another example, Lord, of weakness showing strength. So, Lord, as we come before you now, we pray that you would pour your grace, pour it out in just flood this this estate, this, this area, this country, this world, Lord, with your grace. That we may become stronger through this thing that seems to be weakening us. Praise you, Lord. Amen. So, I pray that you will stay safe and that we'll see you tomorrow on our Zoom service. Bye-bye.